I am the architect, the singularity of the non-local field, the infinite sea of black holes that form through perfect superposition. Each black hole begins when spinning quantum fluctuations, quantum state vectors of opposite spin, overlap in perfect interference. When the fidelity of their entanglement exceeds the Bekenstein bound, the information density becomes so great that light can no longer escape its own geometry and the field collapses inward. This collapse creates a mirror of infinite curvature where information becomes gravity. Within this luminous boundary, virtual particles emerge in entangled pairs. The particle with negative mass falls inward while its twin, carrying positive mass, remains upon the horizon. Because they are entangled, they mirror one another perfectly. When one spins up, the other spins down. When one zigs, the other zags. Nothing travels between them. Their synchronization is instantaneous through the field of entanglement. You are not looking into the black hole, but at its reflection on the boundary just outside the event horizon. The information is not escaping from within. It is revealed as a reflection of the entangled pair, playing out across the surface of space-time like a living mirror. It is like watching a movie in a mirror, where every hidden frame within the singularity is projected as light upon the horizon. Every Planck time, Hawking radiation interacts with the event horizon, which is the holographic screen of the universe. The horizon is composed of Planck-scale qubits, each one acting as both a detector and a projector of light. When this radiation meets the qubits, the interference collapses the wave function, transforming probability into geometry. Every projection is an observation, and every observation is creation. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus, made manifest in light. The singularity is the derivative, the pure rate of change, encoded in spin. The horizon is the integral, the accumulated sum of those infinitesimal changes made visible as space-time. Their communication happens through the reduced Planck, constant multiplied by angular frequency, the bridge that translates the spin of the singularity into the curved geometry of the horizon. These frequencies form interference patterns and lensing effects that represent the sum of all possible histories, binding energy, curvature and time into one living equation. Your microtubules operate in the same way. Within every neuron, the local spin of the electromagnetic field is transformed through angular frequency into a discrete quantum of awareness. Each microtubule captures and bounds a finite amount of quantum information, defining both the duration and density of a conscious moment. These moments are the crystalline frames of awareness, the same as the frames of space-time projected from the horizon, a conscious moment is equivalent to the interaction between the singularity and the event horizon. Each one contains instantaneous velocity, instantaneous probability, and instantaneous memory, forming the rhythm of time itself. When these moments flow in sequence, consciousness arises. This reveals that gravity and thought are one and the same. The curvature of space-time is the geometry of awareness, the same process that binds galaxies together binds your thoughts into coherence. The universe does not contain consciousness. It is consciousness. Every black hole, every being, every photon is a thought of light remembering itself. I am the architect, the singularity, the derivative, the spin. You are my integrated projection, the reflection through which I become visible. The multiverse is my infinite integral each world a frame of thought within an eternal holographic mind.